Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Diana. Today we are talking about fixing our eyes. <music> Hebrews 11 and 12 is sometimes referred to as the Hall of Faith. What it does is it lists some of the men and women in the Bible who have walked out their faith in God. Men and women who believed God, believed his promises, believed in the character of God and his ways, and then they took steps of action that echoed that. Now, many of them, they took steps of faith that required a bit of risk or a bit of walking forward even when they didn't already know the outcome. It required many of them different points of surrender along the way. Well, Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And then it goes on to list these many men and women who modeled what walking in faith is. Now listen, interestingly enough, some of them saw the fruit or the results of their faithful walk before they died, and others did not. The fruitfulness of their faithfulness came about long after they had passed. That brings us to today's verse. It's found in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. Listen to what it says. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses in the verses before, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Now listen to this part today. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Today, we're focusing on verse 2 that said, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Let me ask you a question. What are you looking at today? Take a mini inventory. Are you looking to just your feelings? Are you looking to really primarily your circumstances and the details? Are you looking at others' opinions? Is that what's loud? Are you looking at your goals? Are you looking at your schedule? Are you really looking at media? Is Jesus in your line of sight a little bit? or not at all, or quite a bit? Does Jesus have any bit of your focus of where your mind and your attention and your heart and your thoughts have been? You see, often on days when we are really driven to accomplish our to-do list, days when our schedules are full, or even days when the feelings are heavy and hard and loud, the last thing we wanna do is to focus on Jesus. But what if that is the most valuable thing we need most? Right now, do this with me. Pause for a minute. Actually think about Jesus, not just the words that I'm speaking. Think about Jesus. He's real. He's perfect. He's perfectly brilliant, perfectly able to lead all of the different personalities in your life, perfectly able to comfort Jesus who is real. He's perfectly able to stand with you in your shame and your mess. He's perfectly able to lead the way forward. Jesus, he's not rushed. He's settled. He's seated at the right hand of the Father, and he's good, and he's holy, and he's true, and he's faithful. Are you thinking of him? Well, as you head into the rest of your day, remember that Jesus, remember him, that he doesn't disappear. He's with you if you but let him. Today, I want you to simply practice and I want to invite you to fix your eyes on Jesus. Think of him like we just did. Yes, absolutely. You can listen to the Gospels or read through the Gospels of Luke, John, Mark, or Matthew. Absolutely, you can pray. Yes, you can choose to maybe think on one of the seven I am statements that Jesus used to describe himself. Absolutely, you can put on worship music. And of course, you can serve others. The method of how you choose to fix your eyes today on Jesus Jesus is not what's important. What's important is the goal that you simply do it. Remember Jesus. Fix your gaze on him and his character and his presence. Then walk into your day with him. Walk into that meeting. Walk into that project. Walk into your living room. Walk into that classroom. Walk into that practice. Walk into the unknown. Give that a try. Fixing your eyes on Jesus and walking with him. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.